Our next guest is a fine actor you know from movies like Manchester by the Sea and Lady Bird, among others. Next, he stars alongside a cat and a cat woman in the new movie French Exit. It opens in theaters in New York and L.A. Friday and nationwide April 2nd. Say hello to Lucas Hedges. <laughs> hey, Lucas. Yeah. Hey. hey. Good to see you. What's that? Sorry. Can, can you hear me? I can now. Where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I'm in uh, Brooklyn. I'm at my parents' place. Oh, you're at your parents' Brooklyn. house. Have you been staying with your parents through this whole thing? Uh, on and off a bit. Uh, I was with them for a little bit this summer, and then I've, I've now come back, and it's been good. Has it's been it? Good. Yeah. They're visiting for the week. Or they're back here. They, they, they've been in Montauk, usually. I got you. Okay, so they're not there yeah. all the time. Because that is a little strange no. when you come back as an adult to live with your parents. And Did they leave your room exactly <laughs> as it was? It's, it's actually not the house I grew up in. They've, they have moved on since then. Have you so. thought about going back to that old house to see if those people will let you stay there? <laughs> Honestly, uh... I, this is a very genuine answer, but I feel extremely nostalgic about that place and do walk past it with very longing eyes from time to time. Yeah, that is a funny yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I've done that a few times myself, and it's weird. Sometimes, yeah, you feel sad. Is there a feeling of melancholy? You've done that too? Yes, a number of times. And really? then a couple of other times, I, I felt like, oh my God, get me out of this hellhole. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. good. I'm not alone. I visited my childhood home in Las Vegas uh, a few years ago, and um, it had turned. It had taken a real turn. It had taken a turn for the worst. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh for my the worst. god. <laughs> Dude, yeah. There's a lot. I can't of, imagine. There were a lot of bongs around. Let's just put it that way, which we didn't have. God. We had macrame. Yeah. Okay. Have you been, okay. I know it's it's uh, snowing pretty hard. Is it snowing today? Is in Brooklyn? It's not snowing today. It has been snowing, as you pointed out. Uh, I've been doing this sort of. I've been going on a bunch of walks because lately I've been like. Um, uh, I have this friend who gave me this really good advice because I've been pretty stressed lately. He was like, "You should start waking up with the sun in the morning." So like, I get up at like six a.m. and uh, and and it's kind of weird waking up when it's pitch black. I'm not used to that, so I also feel kind of stressed in, in those situations. So I've been going on these walks and and to calm myself down, I've sort of just been like talking to myself as I'm walking. <laughs> so I'm sort of like, which is which is great when I'm by myself, but I think every once in a while I get talk, I talk very loudly <laughs> and I get I get pretty inspired when I talk to myself. And if I have a whole street to myself, I, I, I sometimes sing or, or, or get uh, get very loud. Wow. So people yeah. must think you're crazy, I guess, huh? I think they do. I think yeah. they do, which is why I try to make sure nobody's around. But, <laughs> what do you say? Like, can, can you give us a little sample of what kinds of things you're saying? Um, I think it's like, it's like, you got this, man. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's a, and it's like 6 a.m. So it's like, what it's, am I going to do with that for the next 12 hours? It's you positive know, it's like, affirmation is what it yeah, is. It's, it's yeah. Like, it's like, so how are we doing? How are we doing today? Uh, and then I'm like, okay, so, like, uh, uh, you're feeling good. You're feeling good, and um, it, it, it snowballs. It snowballs, and then I get really, I get really lost in these creative spirals, and then I like, I um, I'll encounter like a bike on the street that's like my mom's bike, and I'll feel like very spiritually connected to her, and it it, it feels like I'm, I don't know, it feels like a very uh, Lucas, can I? Like a lot of things come together. Who is the yeah. friend that told you to get up at six o'clock in the morning? He's uh, he's my he's my friend Daryl. Well, will you, why don't that. you ask Daryl to go on a walk with you so you have someone to talk to? <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> you also, Thank you. You also sent a, a video uh, or a photograph. Uh, first of all, dude, I've been doing the weirdest stuff lately. Yeah, that, that is, doesn't look. It looks scarier than it than it is. It looks it's, terrifying. It, it looks, looks like, like you're about to murder somebody. It looks like you've um, already murdered someone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for um. Th there's another video that'll make make sense. Okay, for, roll the uh, other video. It. So this yeah. is like uh, that kind of deal where you get in the freezing cold water. You just got out of the water in this shot. Yes, that, that's me. I did six minutes in that water, submerged. And why is your friend um, not moving at all while you are freezing? It's, it's, um, he's, he, they're, they're, they're pumping themselves. They're getting ready to go in. I see. So, so it's like you do a breathing technique and then before, uh, to, to still your body and your mind before you get in so that you can handle it. 
Because it's how really long, cold. It's like 30 how, degrees. How long are you in there? I've done anywhere from six to 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. That's a really long time 10 minutes, to be in there. I was just shaking, shaking afterwards. What are you thinking? Are you thinking of anything while you're in there? I'm sort of pumping myself up a little bit, like the walk, too. Do you, <laughs> I'm have, like, uh, do you have any idea when you're in there how long you've been in there? Are you looking at a watch or something? No, it's, it, my, sometimes my, my whole body starts to spin, and I... Um, I try to go to a very still place in my mind, but I set a timer and then I look at the timer and I let the sun hit my face and I let it heat me up. Wow, wow, you're really taking this yeah. quarantine hard. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know, I should have more, I should just like hang out a little more. <laughs> your, uh, yeah. your co-star, Michelle Pfeiffer, was with us last week and... Um, really? Yeah, yeah, she's just the greatest. Uh, had you... What was your favorite Michelle Pfeiffer movie before working with her? Um, oh, well, I, I actually hadn't seen any of her movies. <laughs> I actually, I knew that. That's yeah. why I was asking. I know you that. did. That's why yeah. you asked. Why? I I None of them. Any of I actually haven't. No. Grease 2, you never saw uh, Batman? I've never seen... Never seen one of her movies. Scarface, none of those, huh? I guess every, the answer will be no to each of those. Did you tell her that I've never seen any of your movies? No, I never. In fact, when we've done press together, I've sort of managed to avoid that. You dodge but, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I dodge it. Has anyone flat out asked you what uh, her, your favorite Michelle Pfeiffer movie is? And then uh, was... No, just, just, just you. Just me, yeah, yeah. 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 Just you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you. Well, yeah. she's very good. I think you'd really like her. You've got some list of uh, on-screen moms. I'm looking at it now. Michelle, of course, Julia Roberts, Nicole Kidman, Frances McDormand. Yeah. Have you seen any of, any of the other moms' movies? You know, I don't think... I'd seen, I think, one Julia Roberts movie before I worked with her. Maybe. I'd seen Aaron Brockovich when I was a kid, but that was it. Wow. You've seen more of your mom's bicycles than you have of their movies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice, man. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> well, I like to tie it all together, just to wrap it yeah. up in a neat little package. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you're a terrific actor. I, I thank you for being with us. Oh, uh, this movie is called French Please. Exit. It is in theaters in New York and L.A. on Friday, and then nationwide April 2nd. Risk your life to see it. Lucas Hedges, everybody. We'll be back with Waxahachie. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe, and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.